Mike, one of the newer Yankees on the team, so a lot of your posts on Instagram are, are fresh for the Yankees fans. You ready to check out some of them? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. All right, first one. Baby, this is big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that was in Colorado, like, kind of breaking up the monotony of some spring training stuff, so the owners of the Rockies, the Montforts, they, they made their fortune in cattle. So the, one of our pitchers had to do a presentation about cattle and he had a, a special guest, which was this guy. You know, we were all taking pictures with it. I mean, it was incredible how big the thing was. I think one of our guys like jumped on its back and those horns were no joke. So have you seen an animal this big in person before? Nothing, nothing quite like that, but I mean like at the zoo, but no, not, <laughs> not, not, up, not up close and personal like that. Now it seems like you're an animal lover who you are. Yeah, that's the Albuquerque ice soaps. They always try to do something fun for our team picture day and stuff. So that year they had like the Animal Humane come in and they had some uh, dogs. So it kind of brought awareness to that too. And it's actually where my wife adopted our dog from. Yes, I was going to yeah. say that sparked an interest for you for sure. Because yeah. Because there you are with the yeah. Awesome yeah. looking pup. He came to us as like, a, we were just going to supposed to foster him for a couple weeks. and. After like a day or two, we kind of, kind of just looked at my wife and was like, you know, this, this dog's probably not going back. So he's been with us since, yeah, summer of 2017 and his name's Coda and he's pretty great. He looks like a great wingman and he even looks awesome in the Yankees. Oh yeah, yeah, my, that's, that's all my <laughs> wife. She could be a professional dog photographer. That might, that might be her dream job. So yeah, the hard part's getting him to pose. So usually if there's a treat behind the camera or something, trying to get him to pay attention. Hopefully one of the pictures he's actually looking at the camera. Well, once Coda gets that down, I'm sure you'd be welcome to come out here and take some cool photos like this. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, I don't know if he's ready for the Big Apple yet. <laughs> so you guys are such good buds that you guys do take photos together often. And they always say a dog is a man's best friend and definitely is in this photo. Yeah, that's my best impression of him. Anytime somebody has food, he's very like food motivated. So <laughs> like anytime that somebody sits down to eat, you know, he'll be, he'll be right next to you, kind of giving you the puppy dog eyes. That was a uh, countertop that we had at our apartment in Albuquerque. And he would climb up on the couch and kind of hang his head over when anybody was sitting there having food. So I was just taking a lead from him and checking that out and you know, seeing, seeing what was going on there. <laughs> So you mentioned puppy eyes. How do you leave your house I know. when that's looking at you out the window, man? It's, it's gotta really, be hard, right? It's really hard. Yeah, that's my parents' house. So anytime you know he stays there, you know we drop him off or we come back. He's staring there, and he does it at our house too now. And it's when I was leaving the All Star break, and he's staring at me from the window. It was like it was tough. It was tough leaving. No doubt about it. Well, if New York fans didn't love you enough for your hustle, they definitely love you now because you're a big time dog lover. So it's, it's always nice to see, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> switching gears a little bit. We see you on the field, and you always put it together really well, but off the field you do as well. That's a nice suit, and yeah. your wife is looking great too. Yeah, that was uh, that was her sister's wedding this past fall, so you know she was obviously the, uh, the matron of honor or whatever for her sister's wedding, and she loves to get a pick at every event, so I try to make sure I don't have any food stains on any of my clothes, and <laughs> hopefully one of them I'm not blinking in. <laughs> great tie suit combo, by the way. Thank you. Digging it, digging it, which, this tie. Yeah. It's always nice to have fun with ties. What exactly is going on with this one? That's a Talkman family family tie. That's My dad's been wearing that tie to family Christmas for just about as long as I can remember. Just, so that tie might be older than me. That was just, yeah, my wife's uh, work Christmas party and needed a tie, wanted to, wanted to represent. So pop that one on. I got a lot, of, a lot of positive feedback on that one. Cool. Yeah. And once you have kids too, maybe if you got a boy down the line, he could be rocking that too one day. Just pass it down from generation. Yeah, shoot. Love it, man. And you also have some other cool shirts in the closet. Big time Star Wars fan and also too, love the location. <laughs> <laughs> we went and saw the pre premiere of the uh, the most recent one that came out, that la The Last Jedi, and felt like we needed to, you know, kind of get in the spirit a little bit. So I, th I think they're just Target t-shirts, but that, that shirt's still in the rotation, and uh, for me, I don't think I don't think it's in it for my wife, but that's okay. <laughs> it's all right, you can just wear hers if it fits. Yeah. Or at least cut off the sleeves, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe a gym, <laughs> maybe a tank. <laughs> yeah. Coming down the home stretch, so R2C2, CC Sabathia, and Ryan Ruka, they had you on the podcast, and they had tweeted out this photo, and this looks pretty accurate. And you're a huge Game of Thrones fan, so yeah. it's uh, very, very, uh, wow. Yeah, it's high praise. Maybe a future Halloween costume for the three of us. 
who knows. I'm not gonna lie, that one, I was pretty fired up about that one. So even though I wasn't a huge fan of the most recent season, but I'll still, I, I'm still gonna take it as a compliment. Yeah, you know what I was gonna ask, without spoiling it, Yeah. how would you rate that last season? Um, Very mixed reviews online. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit disappointing having waited a couple years for it to come out. All right, no spoilers. I like it, I like it. That's very good. <laughs> and now the last one, here you are again, you and your wife. Went out to a nice restaurant, Carbone, right here in the city. Yeah. Looks like it must have been a fun time. Yeah, there was this most recent uh, homestand uh, last couple Saturdays ago, and uh, you know, some of the guys had really been hyping it up, so you know, we were able to, able to get a reservation, able to get a table, and uh, had a great meal, and you know, it was about 100 degrees outside with 85% humidity, so I don't know if she had to edit out all the sweat, but it was a good meal, and you know, we definitely went into a bit of a food coma about 10 minutes after this was taken. So. <laughs> I love that you're able to take advantage of the nice restaurants in Chicago and also be able to experience yeah. once here in New York. It's a great experience for you. Yeah, definitely. A lot of good food cities, which is right up my alley. We see all these posts. Obviously, you're a big time dog lover. You like to have some fun. What would you say is your favorite part about social media and Instagram and the, the photos that you post? It allows you to allow the fans to see a little bit behind the curtain, you know, as much as you want. I know some guys post a lot, some guys, you know, post every so often. But I think it just lets us get humanized a little bit because, I mean, obviously, you know, people come to the game, they, they cheer, they boo, they, you know, get on guys, they cheer for guys, everybody has their favorite players. But, you know, a lot of us are just normal dudes who happen to be really fortunate to have you know, the skill set that we do that allows us to do this. So I think it just kind of lets, kind of humanizes the players a little bit and lets them know that, you know, guys have interests just like everybody else and guys, you know, are, you know, have great, you know, personalities and, and there's more to them than just, you know, even though being a Yankee is a huge part of, you know, who you are, there's a, there's a, there's a lot more as well. Before we go, got to throw the plug out there, watch somebody follow you and what do you have to offer? It's a lot of dog content, so if you're a fan of if you're a fan of, of, of dog photos, then you might have some stuff that might interest. Basically, he's the guy to follow, so make sure you throw him one. <laughs>